What we're going to look at in this particular training video is one of the features in a word processors that are probably the most useful feature and one of the least used features and that's the feature of styles. And there's a number of reasons why we want to use styles but we're just kind of going to go over some of the basics right now with it. When we look at styles, if you notice we're in Word 2007 here and in the ribbon bar we have a style section. We've got normal, no spacing, heading 1, heading 2, title, subtitle. We have a document here and by default when you type a document up it automatically is going to assign the normal style to all of your text and it's just gonna, that's the way it's going to look. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take some time and show you right off the first thing that happens with styles is if I go in and I right click on normal and I go to modify I now get this dialog box for modify style which allows me to adjust a lot of the different ways that the text is going to look. So let's go ahead and say we're right now we're at Calibri which is like by default the the typeface that's used for Microsoft Word 2007 and let's say I want to go back to a little bit more traditional look and go with Times New Roman and instead of 11 point I'm going to go to 12 point and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and now if you notice automatically my text has changed from Calibri which is a sans serif typeface to Times New Roman which is a serif typeface and it's done it for the entire document. Now let's go back up and we're going to go back into modify again and if we were doing this for school or to send it to an editor they would probably want us to double space it. So let's go ahead and click on double space and if you notice here that's already double spaced for us now it went through and for the entire document it's double spaced it. The, everything, everything that was a normal style is now double spaced. So you can adjust the way text looks throughout your entire document and it's going to be consistent everywhere. And we're going through and now let's say oh you know what one of the other things I needed to do was in my paragraphs we're going to go open up modify style again we're going to go down to the format uh, area here and choose paragraph and in paragraph now we've got a bunch of really cool little um, features that we can set and one of them we can go to special for indentation and we can say first line indent by half an inch I'm going to go ahead and select that and click OK. And if you notice now, every one of our paragraphs is indented by half an inch on the very, very first line. This includes our, our section headings and our subsection headings and our title. So let's take a look at a little bit more of this. We're, we've been dealing with a normal style, which is the kind of the default style. But let's take a look now at some of the other things. We've got the title of the paper and we want that to really stand out. So we're going to use up here title. Now when you hover over title in the ribbon bar in Microsoft Word 2007 it automatically temporarily assigns that style so you can see what it looks like and see if that's what you want. I'm like yes that's what I want so I go ahead and click on it and it will assign that style permanently now to that particular paragraph of my text let's go down through now with section one and these are major headings within this particular chapter so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign these to heading one now if you notice I've got a subsection here we're going to set that to heading two and we got another one here we're going to be able to do something really cool with this later section three is heading one again and the rest of this is just some more of the text for the document. So this is now gone through and set the way these are going to look. If you notice though they're still indented the same as the first line of the paragraph here. The reason for this is every one of these is based on normal. So if I go back into modify if we look in the modify style dialog box you'll notice in here we have on the third line down style based on and it says normal. What that means is everything that's been set in normal, and there's a lot of things you can set in here, we're only touching on just a few things, but all of those are carried into title except for the things that we explicitly have set. 
So if I go back down here now to Format and a Paragraph, notice it says the first line is indented by half an inch. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And if I click here, if you've noticed in the background, let me go ahead and close this out now. Title is now flush left. Let's do one other thing with our title. Let's go back into Modify, and we will go and we will center justify title. And it's now center justified. Now let's go down to Heading 1, and we're going to go into Modify Heading 1. And again, it's based on, on normal, so it gets all the same things. Let's go into Format, go into Paragraph. We're going to turn off the first line, Indent. Click OK. And we're going to say OK here. And notice now it is flush left. And it's flush left for the first one and for the second one. If we scroll farther down, all the way down here, it's flush left for the third one. Now, subsections which are a heading 2 are not flush left. So let's go ahead and do the same thing real quick here. Modify, go to paragraph, and turn off the first line. And that makes them flush left as well. For both of them, if I scroll down here, subsection 1, subsection 2, both of them are flush left as well. So we have adjusted these so that they look the way we want to. And as soon as we do it on one of them, everywhere in it, even if this document was 100 pages, they're all going to look exactly the same, and it's going to affect every one of them. And I could change down the road. I could say, okay, you know what? I want heading one. Instead of this kind of a, a odd blue, let's make it really stand out. And we're going to make it green. So I select that, and now it's green, and it's green for every one of them. And then subsections, let's say we're going to take in our subsections, or our heading twos, let's go ahead and modify those. We'll simply make those red. And we're going to make them bright red. And now they really stand out. And of course, this is getting kind of almost ransom notey because we're just trying to make it stand out. But we've gone through, we've given them all a particular look and assigned it to the to the paper and it's consistent everywhere. Now let's go ahead and do one other thing just to show you one other quick feature with this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give myself a blank line here. And for this one we're going to go up in the ribbon bar we're going to select the tab for references. And on the very left side we see table of contents. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we have some different settings for automatic table of contents, and they're gonna. It, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna select the first one. I'm gonna click on it, and it automatically inserts my table of contents into my paper. And the pages here are assigned based on where it finds these particular sections of these styles. So if you notice, section two actually starts on the second page here. And if we go back to the table of contents, um, if we we need to go ahead and we need to update the field a minute because um, all the pages kind of shifted down when we first put it in here and it didn't quite take it. So section two, page two. So there are some reasons why you want to use styles. It gives you the ability to format things cleanly and consistently throughout your document, and it also gives you the ability to auto-generate table of contents, which is very handy for very, very large documents. Mm -hmm.